I worked out that I was probably a, a surfer before the slip, slap, slop era. You think I don't need the protection. I have olive skin, I tan, wrong. I had a lump just here. I got the lump taken out. Uh, luckily I heard that the lump was taken out and it had clear margins. I was heading off on a sailing trip and early in the trip a lump was there. By the time I got back to Sydney I was needing two separate painkillers to, to manage the pain went on to another doctor who said that the cancer had invaded the parotid gland, uh, the nerves were involved, the bone was involved, and the cancer had moved towards the ear. So he was suggesting that significant surgery was my way forward. What um, would be involved in the massive surgery was starting to become a bit overwhelming, losing the nerves of the face, losing the ear. Radiation treatment would be uh, required as a follow-up. It was bloody scary, actually. My niece had a melanoma that was taken out but had recurred. A doctor in the Chris O'Brien Lifehouse Group. Uh, she gave me the name and I rang that doctor. She said, look, I think um, Immunotherapy is an early stage but proven treatment. Even if you have some treatment and that reduces the cancer and then the severity of the operation is massively reduced, that, that is what we're looking at. It's a special place, yeah. We now have so many more options that we didn't have previously. We now have immunotherapy, and it is not to say that immunotherapy is the solution for all cases, but immunotherapy coupled with the more traditional methods of surgery and radiotherapy means that patients can be given a more tailored, personalised management plan. It's not just about how the patients look after surgery, it's about, sure, having the least disfiguring surgery, having the best quality of life, but also making sure that the disease stays away for as long as possible, if not forever. Within three days, the pain had gone, and after four treatments, the follow-up scan had showed that the cancer was 100% removed and no surgery was required. So <laughs> it still is an emotional thing to relate that story. The treatment landscape of non-melanoma skin cancer is changing rapidly and that's really because of the availability of these PD-1 inhibitors. They've shown perhaps one of the highest response rates in cutaneous SCC across all solid organ cancers. Still now, surgery is the standard of care. With these drugs now being given earlier and earlier and patients being able to avoid such operations, I think we're able to offer the same sort of hope for a lot more patients moving forward. He's essentially gotten his life back. Other than some numbness in the area that is continuing to improve, he's got nothing. How can you possibly ask for a better outcome than that? It's, it's just a celebration every time, I have to be honest. Um, Michael can't be happier. 